Hi guys, good morning. Right now the time is 6.25 a.m. December 22nd. So it's about four minutes to for the market open. And today is a very tricky day because, let me explain. <coughs> so in the yesterday's regular trading hours, we had gapped up and then continued going higher. And then we hit the balance I target. But then the close was within the uh, 3D balance zone. And then in the overnight session, which is now, what happened was the high is weak and poor because it's very close to the yesterday's high and it does not have good access. So let me zoom in. As you can see, there is a poor high in the overnight session. And then we have a very sharp sell-off after the GDP numbers came. And now we are trading near the yesterday's low. Plus we still have the gap from yesterday that we didn't fill yet. And the overnight low is also very weak because it's two ticks away from yesterday's low. So we are opening in a tricky situation and generally for this much short inventory so the counter option would be to go long so i have positioned myself to take a long with the stop loss below the gap because it's not very far so what could happen is we can fill the gap and then continue going higher towards the settle that's one option another option is it can continue to go lower because the trend on the daily would be then bearish so after gap fill, we can still continue to go lower and then fill this uh, price gap. As you, as you can see, there is a small gap in the price over here. So in the yesterday's overnight session, we had actually capped up in the price, but it was still within the day before yesterday's range. So it was okay, but I still uh, have an eye on this to see what happens with this price gap. Generally, those price caps would fill. But let's see what happens. So I'm going to stay in the call, meaning I will record this session. So you can see what market will try to do. And I will take a, uh, action accordingly. So you can see uh, how I am responding to what market is doing and not what I, I think has to happen. So I'm more flexible. I will take a position. Uh, according to <clears throat> what market shows us so far we have a weak low so i'm a little cautious to go more contracts long here because it can easily um, like repair this by going further lower by making uh, excess even overnight low is poor because if you notice there is only two ticks difference between these two alphabets and uh, i just noticed that the volume point of control has moved lower and so let me move this up so we have one set of single prints um, the time uh, the TPO POC is on the upper distribution and the v, VPOC is on the lower distribution so let's see how it goes I've placed one more buy order at a half gap which also coincides with the point of control of yesterday's overnight session. So it could be a, a strong place where pe uh, people can buy. Okay, here we are, market opened within prior day's range. So no gap rules applicable. And uh, the low of the today's session is again coinciding with the overnight low, which is not good. So we can, we would possibly retest the low again, either now or at a later point. Let's see how it goes. So I'm still long. The reason I have placed two two closing orders here is because there are no volume pins at all, meaning uh, there were no volume traded from the buyer side at this 3877 level. So it we there are high chances that we might retest those levels. So I had kept there 
plus single prints also could be could act as resistance as you can see the eye we touch the single print and it's rejecting so that could be also the case but let's wait and see ah so we we came back to retest the low because yeah generally single prints act as a very strong resistance and that's what you are seeing here it touched the single print and then boom down back down meaning i could have flipped my position here and put my stop loss right above it i could have done that too but i don't want to do too many flip flops that way you know if we do too many flip flops we will miss the action and we would go into like over trading mode which i don't want to okay we are slightly trading below yesterday's low right now and uh, volume point of control is now at the prior day's low let's see okay my buy order triggered okay gap filled and then my stop loss hit see we are going further lower so let's let's uh, so the gap has filled let me remove the gap levels then i will okay gap has filled and now we are continuing to go lower let's see what what we have to do let me change the coloring of this okay so as you can see the distribution is not so good the volume distribution so let's wait so we are continuing to go lower so we can either take a short position and put a stop loss right above this volume profile so let me do that or yeah, above balance i also should be fine okay there comes so we are trying to target the uh, uh, probably the market is trying to fill that price gap over here what uh, which i was highlighting yesterday that there was a, a price gap yesterday so let's see if, if that fills the price gap is right here right here <clears throat> so the trend on daily is down so the the trend has changed to bearish now ideally for contraction if we go back above open then we can retest easily 3905 but we are in we are trading below prior day's low so that's generally bearish so it took a short position with the stop loss right above the uh prior day slow that is in my invalidation of the trend on daily and if it comes nearby around the mid i will take another shot but my stop loss remains above 3870.5 as you can see it all happened very quickly if we are not able to adapt to the change over here which we noticed then your position is again uh, in a bad situation which is okay you have to just adapt accordingly and not be like oh i'm going to go only long because we we had a so much of price drop already that's that's a very bad thinking if you understand what is happening underneath the market who are your participants who are your competition by knowing these kind of nuances whether the high is poor or weak or low low is poor or weak If you if you if you notice those nuances, then you definitely have much more uh, understanding to take accordingly the positions. See, I am short at thirty eight sixty two. I am still making money. So I am not trying to brag about my knowledge here, but I am just saying that you ha you always have to have a little bigger picture view of market. or trying to find what exactly is going on rather than just jumping in the trade for whatever reason and that is called fomo you don't want you never want to have fomo because those are the worst decisions that you will take when you have such mindset when you run into fomo you will always tend to have bad decisions 
and not, that's not just with me if with anybody who are is human that will happen so you want to avoid that situations and trade very technically uh, in terms of defining your risk and and your target so my target right now is uh, this gap fill the price gap that i was referring to pre market let's see if it bounces there so we have a, uh, one one set of single prints here as well so we could probably bounce there too because single prints always are the key zones that you can't see in the candlestick pattern view so we're almost there we're trying to bounce from the single print high but i think since the trend is bearish we would probably fill this price gap so let's wait if i had multiple contracts here i would close some at the single prints because generally single prints levels are very uh, easy places to reverse reverse the position at least half of it or majority of it since the trend is down i'm still continuing to hold this short here let's just wait and watch what happens So the volume around the single prints is pretty big as you notice but what i don't like about this distribution is there is literally no volume around here let me zoom in you see how slim this is this area is so potentially it will revisit that and fill some volume then possibly continue lower yeah I'd, i might have shorted in the a bad location but yeah my target is around this price cap that i was highlighting and if it comes around here i will take another short position by keeping the stop loss as same which is slightly above like one point or two points above the previous day low that is so previous day low is 3870.5 so my stop loss can be at uh, 3871.5 So if I go on and keep scalping, then that's another kind of personality. I generally don't like to scalp, meaning quickly go back in and out, in and out. Um, I don't like to do that because you generally tend to do do mistakes when you do that. You can do scalping, but um, it's another style that doesn't suit my personality. So you you just find what kind of traits suit your personality, and you just do it. We are defining your risk. there are some people who trade just one tick they'll just go in like place a position <clears throat> they'll book profit at one tick and they exit and they're happy with it and so be it there are different kinds of people in the world and uh, you just have to pick and find what you like doing and just continue doing it boom my target hit and also the price cap that i was referring to has filled now as you can see okay now let me move the single prints because those have filled so there is still a uh, some set of single prints left so what you can do right now is either take a long position by putting stop loss right below them which i think it's the best thing to do because there is this weak profile over here um the volume profile the volume distribution is very bad over here so you can do that or you can stay short continuing to stay short okay looks like the gap almost filled or oh, single prints let me double check is the single prints filled ah no there is actually one more tick i guess oh it actually filled single prints filled so let me reverse my position and then put the stop loss right below them right below the single prints maybe 1 point so 5225 5125 let me put 1 point yep 1 point stop loss and stay chill 
because we got the price cap that we got filled and then and then we just wait because the distribution is not so good here so i'll rather take my profit over there You see how precisely the price has bounced from the single prints? Yeah, these are the kind of things that you want to notice because oftentimes people think, oh, price has faked. Yeah, it does fake. Because of what? Because of these kind of nuances like single prints, uh, weak levels. When, when you have so many people shorting from exact location like over here or near the overnight low, which was the case, let me remove this part meaning people are trying to buy from exact level that is a prior day's low what happens if that if in that case so all those people who bought here their stop losses will be right below so what big boys try to do is snatch their stop losses if you have a lot of money how would you make money you take other people's stops so you you in, they will try to intentionally push the market down to take those stops away and when they took, takes their stops away, what happens? There is would be an impulsive move. And after that impulsive move, it can go back up or can continue to go lower depending on whether there are any other pending businesses. Right in, in our case today, the pending business is that there were single prints on the bottom plus, plus there was uh, this price cap that I was talking about pre-market. So it's been about 15 minutes, right? So right now the time is 6.42 a.m. I think market will stay choppy in this zone because we are in the balance zone. 38.22 uh, all the way to 39.12. So as long as the price stays within this, it's going to be very choppy. Like it can go down and then come back up. Go down, come back up like that. It can do anything in this top zone. So you have to trade very, very strictly, like define your stop loss and then enter accordingly. So with that being said, I hope this video helps you. And this is a good learning for me as well, because I am just speaking out loud of what my, my thinking process is. And I hope this uh, video helps you. And I want to thank you for stopping by and checking out what's happening today. And right now the time is 6.43 a.m. So I'm in Pacific time zone. So thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.